What's up guys, the Apple device here and today I'll be showing you guys how to downgrade the 6.15 baseband on your iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS. So I'll just show you guys on my iPhone 3GS that I'm on uh, baseband 5.16 or 6.15 sorry. <laughs> And uh, you'll need two downloads for this. The software that your iPhone 3GS is running on. For the 3GS, you'll need the software the device is running on. And for the iPhone 3G, you will not. So for the iPhone 3GS, you'll need the software it's running on. So in my case, I'll need the 5.0.1 software. And then you'll need Red, Red Snow 0.9.14 Beta 1 or higher. I'll have both of those links down below in the link's description. And then... Um, if you do not know how to check what, um, if you have the new or old model of, of iPhone 3GS, I'll explain to you guys real quick. In the serial number, you want to go ahead and skip ahead to the fourth and fifth digits. So in my case, it's three and two. That means 32. And that, that means that this 3GS was bought on the 32nd week after they announced the uh, 3GS. If yours is below week 40, then it's a old boot ROM. 3GS. If it's over week 40, so over 40 as your uh, fourth and fifth digit, then yours is the new boot ROM. And then for the third digit, the nine just uh, clarifies that it's a new or sorry, old boot ROM iPhone 3GS. I'll also have a program down below so you can use to identify if you have a um, old or new 3GS boot ROM. So what you want to do is right click on Red Snow and run as administrator. This will pop up. Go ahead, click yes. Then go ahead, click extras. Select IPSW, and I'll go ahead and find my iPhone 3GS 5.0.1. Make sure at this point your device is plugged in. Okay. And no, mine is not the old, mine is not the new boot ROM, it's the old boot ROM 3GS. You want to go back and click jailbreak. At this point, you want to go ahead and uncheck Cydia and go ahead and just check downgrade from iPad baseband. Click on that and click next. At this point, you'll need to go ahead and power off your device and put it into a DFU state. There will be instructions after you power off. You'll hit next and there will be yeah instructions. So I'll uh, move this to the side. Power for 3, power and home for 10. And then just hold the home button for 15 seconds. The computer will detect it, black screen, and the computer will detect it. That means that it's... Um, in DFU mode, and now from here you, you just leave the um, iPhone alone with the computer and it'll be jailbreaking it. Well, not jailbreaking it, sorry. Uh, downgrading the baseband. It does. It just successfully downgraded the baseband. So let's go into settings. Take a look. General about. Right there, the baseband has been downgraded. So now the GPS will work perfectly fine, and you'll be able to restore um, through the iTunes without any problems. Don't need to make no custom IPSWs, and there's no trace of even having the um, 615 or. Uh, Five or five sixteen baseband. I don't remember what what it's called. I think it's six fifteen, but there is no trace of it even on the phone. So if if you even take it into Apple for a warranty, if you still have a warranty, it'll be perfectly fine. So guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.